Hey, what's going on everybody? It's me, the original Gamer Stevie Stroh, and I'm back here with you with another exciting TRS-80 color computer game. This one from Tom Mix Software is called Burge, released in 1982. Enter your name. Let's do that. My name is Steve. What is your difficulty level? Let's aim low. Oh, look at this. This reminds me of Phoenix. Phoenix was a cool game with space birds. So yes, this is a, but this one you're up. I got killed. Okay. So yeah, I'm a hunter and I'm shooting birds that are flying down at me. But this one is inspired by a really cool space shooter called Phoenix. And the idea of Phoenix was instead of shooting spaceships, they were kind of like these flaming birds. And those birds would kind of like materialize on the screen or they would split in half when you shot them. There was a pretty cool um, visualization to how they either uh, were born or how they were ever either destroyed. And so this is basically a shooter. A lot of these shooters had similar things. They were all... Uh, got their inspiration from Space Invaders, and then games like Galaxian introduced the whole dive bombing concept, and then a lot of people have made variations on that. And so this kind of dive bombing formation space shooter format was used a lot in the 80s. This game is a clone of one of those games that was called Phoenix, and so far it doesn't look like the birds are changing. Uh, in Phoenix, birds changed over time. You had different waves, you had different types of birds. So this might just be the same birds over and over again, but it's pretty cool. It's got a decent animation, you know, the flapping wings. They're dropping what I'm assuming are eggs as their bombs on you. So if you're hit by their bombs or you're hit by the bird, you lose one of your lives. Your lives are represented by these burning candles here, which is interesting kind of a unique way of doing it. One of the candles was snuffed out, as you can see here. There's the one candle that's burning, that's my current life, and I've got a spare candle in reserve. So that was a really cool way to represent how many lives you had in use and how many lives you had remaining. But yeah, I do remember playing this game. I'm not seeing any variation to um, the enemies or even their patterns. I mean, they are getting a little bit more aggressive, okay? Second life snuffed out. I'm on my third and final life. That final candle is burning. When that candle has burned out, the game is over. But yeah, this was cute. This is basically a, this was your typical shooter. There were dozens of different games like this in the arcade, on consoles, on computers. This was a very popular game style and everybody had their take on it. This one here is a guy shooting birds. And that's not the shooting bird that you're probably thinking right now. It has nothing to do with your middle finger. But here I am shooting away, and I got you. And so what I am definitely seeing here is that it is completely repetitive. Completely monotonously repetitively repetitive. And you're going to keep doing the same thing until that final candle is burnt out. So I will go ahead and do my best to demonstrate some level of skill and gaming proficiency here but it is inevitable you will eventually make a wrong move even the pros get tired at some point in time but so far I'm doing halfway decent I've gotten a whopping 5300 points here on my score and still going and I'm just shooting away a um, little tiny bit laggy not a lot but it's 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 uh, it's getting the job done. I do notice that the game pauses for a second whenever a sound is made, which is typical for this computer. This computer did not have the ability to play background music, so noise generation, sound generation, did freeze the system for a second while the sound was made, and that does kind of interfere with your flow and your momentum as you're scrolling and as your bullets make contact. Your movement stops for a second. Um, it's just something you got used to when you played on this particular computer. But I do rem I'm, I'm being reminded of, of what that was like back then. Um, and I'm just shooting away. So let's just try to shoot a few more and then we'll wrap this up. Because, yeah, I don't think this is ever going to change. Other than getting faster and harder, it's not going to change. And so, um, you know, this was a decent game. This is a fun game. But it would have been nice if they put a little bit more into it. At least change what the birds look like. Alternate different style of birds. Or do something um, to mix it up just a little bit, you know. Give us a little variety. And we didn't ask for much. Sometimes it could have been as much as just changing the color. Change the color of the birds. Change the background color. Um, you know, change the music. Do something to let us not 
blatantly feel like we were doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, which is exactly what's happening right now. All right, so I'm going to end this nonsense. I'm going to just stop shooting. I'm going to let these guys take me out. They have taken me out. I just... I like the animation too. You kind of fade into a pillar of salt or a pile of dust or whatever the case may be. Or maybe that's a bird poop for all I know. I don't know. So yeah, there you go. Here's the high score table. I am the first person on the high score table here because I'm the first person that played this game. So this game was called Birds, released from Tom Mix Software. Tom Mix Software is a company that brought us Donkey King, an incredible Donkey Kong clone. Tom Mix Software also brought me the first game I ever played on this computer, which was called Caterpillar Attack, which was a clone of Centipede. And Tom Mix Software brought us Birds. I hope you enjoyed it. I have been the original gamer, Stevie Stroh. You have just watched another really cool TR City color computer game from the 80s, 1982. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all next time. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, throw out a comment, and share it with your friends. I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching, and peace out, everybody. Bye-bye.